Hello, Exoman Legacy here, and today I just wanted to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to enable the free roam mod from back in the Fable Lost Chapter days on Fable Anniversary. You're really only going to need a few things to do this that I have found. I couldn't find any decent tutorials or really any tutorials at all that showed me a definite way of how to do it, but in this video I'll show you guys how you can get it enabled and start running around outside the map or through barriers that shouldn't really be there in an open world game, which this isn't, but it could be. It's really nice. So let's get into it. First, I downloaded a fresh install of Fable Anniversary. To do that, I uninstalled it and then I deleted the entire folder to make it fresh and ready. So if I start it up here quick, when the game does start, it shouldn't show anything. None of the mods should be enabled or anything like that. I don't have anything subscribed to in the workshop or anything. So this should work just fine. Let me just start up the save as a kid and go from there. Got about 20 minutes into the save because I've been using it for testing and whatnot at the beginning. Plus, I mean, all my other ones are saturated a bit too much. So, here we go. Now, let's just skip this. Okay, should be able to just walk up to these walls here. And as you can see, there's invisible barriers preventing me from doing anything in here. Which is pretty annoying. And you should be able to walk through, go between some of these. Okay, now let's quit the game quick. Now that I'm outside the game, there's a few things you're going to want to start out doing. Let's go to library here. Let's bring up Fable. And then let's open up the files here so we can see the folder. This is where we're going to be doing most of our work. Now, to get started here, let's make a new folder here quick. Let's go into new folder. I'm going to get rid of everything. I'm going to go into downloads here. Eh, no, I'll stay in new folder. Okay, now, you're going to want to get these two things, okay? You're going to want free roam, and you're going to want Fable, Explorer, and Seabox version switcher. It's just kind of stuff that makes things work in the long run for me. Uh, to get the free roam one, you're going to want to go to fablemod.com. You're going to want to go to the wiki here. If you scroll down to utilities... It's going to be WAD Extractor and Patcher. You can just download that like that. Show in folder. I'm just going to drag it to the new folder here. Okay, and then this one, you're going to want to do nearly the same thing. Just hit download here. We're not going to be using the full extent of both of these tools. Well, we're going to use Free Roam to its full extent, but we're not going to be using the uh, FA uh, Sim Linker. To its full extent at least in this video okay now let's also put this one inside of the new folder as well and then let's open up the new folder so we got we can just close all this stuff because we don't need it we just need this folder here and this folder here other than that we should be good now let's extract this one first this one's going to be important because we're going to want to go to here. We're going to run this quick. We're going to take ownership of files and enable mods. For some reason, even with mod support, whenever you change a file, it just reverts back to its initial self. I think everything has read only and you really don't have permission to do anything with it, which is annoying. So this will enable modification to files and allow you to change them without them renaming themselves back and stuff like that. Once that's done, you can exit this. I'm just going to hit Q to exit it, and it's gone. I might come back to this mod in a future video, but for now, that's all you need. And now you need Free Roam. I'm going to extract that here quick. Once Free Roam is open, just launch the program. It'll look like this. You go File, Open. And you're going to want to take this from earlier take the e, the link to where the files are for your game put them up here 
And then there you go. It's the same folder. We'll close that for right now. Go to Wellington. Go down to Fable Data. Build. Data. We're going to go to Levels. And then there's Fable Albion dot WAD. You're going to want to open that one. Once that's open, you're going to want to make sure this and this are checked, which they always will be. And then you just hit rip. Once you hit rip, you can hit data here because you're going to want to put it in this folder. That way it overlaps with levels and does everything. If you want to manually put it in there and replace the file so that you know it's done, just go back into levels and then hit save. I'd say give it a few seconds here. If you feel it around, it'll lag out. Sometimes it won't let you close out of it or something. But honestly, now that you're able to move it around and stuff, it should be done. So just close that. And then on free roam, I'm just going to put that URL back in again. Go to Wellington Game. Fable Data. Build. Data. Levels. Now in here you'll see another folder called levels. This one's not supposed to be here. So let's check a look. As you can see, it's there. Okay, we're going to cut this. We're going to go to data and we're just going to paste it. Should replace 100 or 398 files. Mm, I don't know why it says 796. Give me a second. Did I uh, I'm just going to try that one more time. I feel like it's supposed to say 396, but if it's 796, that's fine too. I'm just uh, not remembering in my head right. But we're just going to replace these files here. And these will patch out all the invisible walls. Now if you go back in here, other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the fablealbion.wad or final Albion dot wad. You're gonna to want to put something before it so that the game can't find it. So I just put an underscore, and then you're gonna to want to go back to build. You're gonna to want to find this one right here, final deliverable user. Okay, you're going to want to right click this one. You're gonna to want to go down to where it says user level wad and it should say true right here you're going to want to actually change that to false i guess i didn't change this back the last time i looked but this is what you're going to want to do you want to change it to false now let's close out of this close out of that now if i start a fable it should look and start up the same you should be able to start it in modded and in the vanilla version and you should still be able to use the free roam mod at the same time. So, let us load back into the same save. 20 minutes, 2 seconds, looks about right. Okay. Now it's done loading. Let's skip again. Come and see play. Me, you look tired okay. Now we should literally be able to walk through this stuff. Like trees are weird. You walking through trees are kind of normal, especially in Fable Anniversary because some of these trees didn't exist. Some of these rocks didn't exist. So walking weirdly on the outsides of some maps, like they. They changed some of the layout and some of the, uh, the landscape, but the file itself didn't change from TLC, so if you walk across it, it'll still, like, look, I'm floating here, but if I was in TLC, there'd probably be some land underneath me. But yeah, now that this has been enabled, you'll be able to walk around the map, walk outside the map. Honestly, go just about wherever you want. Okay, I'm in water. That is one thing you should probably watch out for. Uh, you can't swim. So your screen just kind of does this. Just thought I'd let you know. But, 
I think that's just about it for now. If you guys want any more Fable Anniversary modding videos, just let me know. I'm going to look into trying to get other mods working. I would really like to be able to get the modding hype and modding community back on board and trying to do stuff. I would love to see custom campaigns and custom areas put into the game and make things just better. I want to be able to just throw a chest on the ground right here and open it up and have everything in the game. Now the only other way I've been able to see people do this is people have hijacked like demon doors and changed the change those to have stuff in it but that's just not what I want. I want to be able to make this area over here like combine all the areas in the map so that instead of having a loading screen that you just go through an open door right out to lookout point and I think that would be awesome. It's 2020. I want to see this happen guys. Now until the next one guys it's been X1 Legacy with another tutorial for you. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell button if you want to see more like this and leave me a comment below if you want to see anything else in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.